Hello! In this brief video, we will walk through the steps of creating an assignment in your eClass course. An assignment in eClass is an activity where the student will be able to privately submit materials directly to the instructor for grading. To begin, click the button to turn editing on. Then, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Add an activity or resource. From the menu that appears, then click Assignment. On the following page, start by giving your assignment a unique name. Then you can also add a description informing students of what you want them to submit. After writing your description, you can then also include additional files if there are any to provide to the students. This could include rubric files, or maybe template documents you wish for them to use for the assignment. Then, scroll down to the availability settings to choose important dates for your assignment. This can include when students can begin submitting to the assignment, when the assignment will be due, when students can no longer submit, and, if desired, a time when eClass will remind you to grade the assignment. Afterwards, you can then scroll down to the submission types. By default, your assignment will be set to accept file submissions from the students. If desired, you can modify this so students can do other types of submissions, such as recording an audio-video file directly within eClass, or typing online text directly into a text editor in the assignment. For assignments that require file submissions, also make note of the accepted file types that are listed below. If a student will need to submit a file type that is not in this list, click the Choose button in order to select more file types from the menu. Next, under Feedback Types, you can choose the different types of feedback that students will receive after completing the assignment. This can include feedback comments, an annotated copy of their original document, feedback files, or feedback audio-video recordings. Lastly, make sure to visit the grade settings in order to select how the assignment will be graded. These settings can include the number of points the assignment will be worth, the grading method, a grade category if you have any defined in the eClass gradebook, a grade required to pass, and other settings such as blind grading or hiding the grader identity from students. Following this, you can also select certain other settings, such as certain additional settings for student submissions, turn it in settings if you wish to use the plagiarism checker, and restrict access and activity completion settings. When this is complete, then you can finish by clicking Save and Display or Save and Return to Course. Afterwards, your new assignment will appear in line on the course page.